You know, finding out we were getting another sports-related episode for Season 9 got me hooked right away, especially after how much I enjoyed Common Ground. Coming from someone who watches NASCAR, where the fans themselves are the cheerleaders, this episode was definitely a new venture into the sports world that I myself have little knowledge of, but it also presented a unique opportunity to take another look at and explore Rainbow Dash's narrow-minded worldview. Almost like a spiritual successor to read it and weep in the form of her disinterest in cheerleading for the school's buckball team. I mean, seriously, that's definitely an intriguing setup to analyze how one's disinterest in something can negatively affect people who do care about that subject by pitting Rainbow next to something she loves, sports, but by chaining her to something she doesn't give a flying feather about, the cheerleading. And I have to say, I really enjoyed the way the episode executed its game plan. A definite strong point in the episode's favor is how it really enforces just how narrow-minded and uncaring Rainbow Dash is towards the concept of Cheer Squad in general, and the effect it has on the students she's supposed to be coaching. It does a great job showcasing how little it means to her instead of having her just say, I don't care, and leaving the squad to their own accord. Now yes, she does ditch them a few times, but it's the variations in how she ditches the students that helps sell her attitude and the episode doesn't go too far to the point she's being outright cruel to them. She goes from leaving the squad with snips, trying to get snails to use his weird methods of practice on them, gathering up props and cheer uniforms only to preface that with, Okay, since you guys have been nagging me non-stop about this cheer stuff for like, ever. Which basically boils down to her saying, Okay, I got you stuff so stop bothering me, before she tries to ditch them again. And then, the coup de grace. When the squad fails in their demonstration to Fluttershy and Pinky because Rainbow didn't even try to help, she puts the blame on them for not figuring out how to utilize their props and equipment like the party cannon effectively. Okay, yeah, this was definitely selfish and as I said, narrow-minded of Rainbow, but it was such a great way to illustrate not just her attitude, but how much of a negative impact an uncaring attitude can have on others like the cheer squad. Notice how at first, all the students are thrilled and enthusiastic about being a part of the squad, except for Smolder, and the fact that Rainbow will be their coach. Over the course of the second act, her completely dismissive and selfish attitude about hating cheerleading gradually erodes that enthusiasm the squad has, until it culminates in them telling her off before ditching her themselves. So it wasn't great. Cheerleading's never great. That's why every pony gets up to get a snack during it. <laughs> <laughs> well, except for poor Yona. Rainbow's disinterest in cheerleading really blinded her to how much she was hurting them, to the point of quite literally turning her back on them so she can't even see them. Hence why it took Smolder's outburst to make her realize the effect she's having on them. The episode didn't hold back on Rainbow's portrayal, and it honestly couldn't. This is what it can feel like if a trusted friend or even mentor constantly bombards you with an aura of not caring about something you like or are trying to accomplish. It can strip away your enthusiasm and possibly even love of something, eventually feeling like maybe they don't care about you. I really have to commend the writers for going this far to demonstrate the lengths that Rainbow's attitude goes and for how they actually don't justify her behavior at all, but take the time to explain it. However, with the episode not pulling any punches on Rainbow's portrayal, it also didn't pull any punches with how the students reacted, and I absolutely loved them, especially Smolder. This is something that could have made or broken the episode, and having all of the students show with both body language that they're lost, unhappy, and sad because of Rainbow's attitude, and the fact that all of them but Yona stand up for themselves, constantly question her about why she's slacking on her job, tell Rainbow off and end up ditching her because she's drained all of their excitement and interest in cheerleading, makes them even stronger characters rather than one of Rainbow's friends catching wind and chewing her out. I love seeing a character's selfishness bite them in the ass, like with how Smolder laid it out for Rainbow that it feels like she doesn't give a crap about the students just because they're taking part in something she happens to not like. And honestly, who could blame them or Smolder for feeling like that? Especially when a few of them were using Cheer Squad to try to better themselves like Ocellus, participate in more pony-related activities like Yona, do it just because they love it so much like Shimmy Shake and Light Hoof, or because they admire and look up to Rainbow so much like Smolder, only to have that thrown back in their face. 
And I admit, sometimes having a character needing something spelled out for them can be frustrating. Sometimes someone who is so set in their narrow-minded ways does require a proverbial bitch slap to see how stupid and selfish they were being. And to top this all off, the squad is made even stronger as characters when this is their first reaction to seeing Rainbow after she's been told off. Rainbow screwed up and actually had to earn the squad's trust back with a huge apology and promise to coach them to get better at cheering and coordination. They weren't going to welcome her back with open arms. They were still pissed at her and didn't want anything to do with Rainbow until she actually treated them with respect for what they liked to do. How could you not root for and respect these characters even more, especially Smolder, who wasn't afraid to get in Dash's face multiple times throughout the episode to tell her to start giving a crap and coach them? Or heck, even ones like Shimmy Shake and Lighthoof who we'll probably never see again. The five students were the absolute highlight of the episode and how they were handled development-wise, and how they gave Rainbow a taste of her own medicine to force her to learn what happens when you refuse to open up your mind and show support for your friends' pursuits, or even the pursuits of people that look up to you by turning their backs on her. Just look at how after introductions for the cheer squad were finished, Rainbow quite literally turned her back on them to watch buckball practice. And after the students are fed up with Rainbow's lack of care and understanding throughout the second act, they all give up on the chance of her coaching them correctly or even at all, turning around with their backs facing Rainbow so they can leave her. Having that abandonment thrown back in her face, of course, after that smackdown from Smolder, was the best way for Rainbow to learn the important lesson that just because you don't care about something, be it a sport, a subsection of a sport, movie, TV show, etc., it doesn't mean everyone else follows that same train of thought. You can't just assume that if you don't care, no one cares, because you can start to kill any excitement or joy someone has for something in particular if you put it in their heads that no one cares or that they're wasting their time. Just like how Rainbow's careless comment about Cheer Squad and Snacks broke Yona's heart. However, while I like that the episode put Rainbow in the wrong for letting her personal opinion prevent her from caring and that she had to work her way back into the good graces of the students, I like that it added on that it's okay to not care about something as long as you actually show support for the people who are partaking in it or discussing it or whatever. And a personal reason I love this is because we in the void have that understanding. I know my friends don't care at all about NASCAR, but they have no qualms with me discussing it whenever we have calls because they support my love for it. And I'm more than happy to reciprocate that for them for subjects they enjoy like WWE, Doctor Who, and so on and so forth. While Rainbow was indeed in the wrong, I still like that the episode gave her a second lesson to learn and allowed her to learn that showing support and encouragement for your friends is what really matters, and that you still don't have to enjoy what they enjoy. And that's a pretty deep lesson. Showing how proud and thrilled Rainbow Dash was that the cheer squad's hard work paid off in the end with a fantastic halftime show really shows just how she learned her lesson. That you can take enjoyment just from how much fun your friends have doing something, even to the point that she didn't even care about the school's buckball team losing the game. And even though she gave herself a little pat on the back, Well, we have a pretty decent coach. She still gave the majority of the credit to the squad for pulling off a flawless show, which is such a rewarding 180 for how she blamed them for messing up before. Now that we've got all that out of the way, I just want to add that I can understand and don't blame anybody if some people thought Rainbow's portrayal may have strayed into the too far territory when it came to her attitude and treatment to the cheer squad. As I stated before, what makes it work for me is how the squad consistently questioned her motives, demanded she actually step up to the plate and do her job, and then ultimately ditched her when she refused to see just how terrible of a job she was doing. They weren't portrayed as one-dimensional stock characters that just took it and looked sad, only for Twilight to find out and be the one to berate Rainbow. The group stood their ground until they saw Rainbow wouldn't budge and then ditched her, even going so far as to try to ditch her again the next morning the second they saw her on the field. And let's not forget that Rainbow Dash is a sports fan, and coming from someone else who is a sports fan, we are some of the most narrow-minded people of all time. So this episode, in a way, spoke to me personally. And trust me, I love the way Rainbow was humbled because there are many, many sports fans I'd love to see get humbled in the exact same way as her. 
Moving away from the more dramatic aspects, I can't forget to mention that there was some good bit of comedy sprinkled throughout the episode. Even right at the beginning when Twilight pushes Fluttershy's anxiety button to the point she starts hyperventilating and passes out. And then Snails has this reaction. I don't think you should breathe it in so hard. Like I said in my review of Buckball Season, Snails suddenly becomes a legitimately funny character whenever Buckball is involved. Also, when Twilight drops the news to Rainbow that she'll be coaching the cheer squad, her reaction is both one of the funniest and one of the cutest reactions Rainbow has ever had on the show. And as for smaller jokes, I loved Rainbow Dash randomly mentioning that Zakora isn't as helpful as we think, Yona shouting when Snips wakes up her in Ocellus, and of course, Celestia using her Canterlot voice to cheer on her own team during the big game. Okay, it's not as funny as when she did it in Horseplay during Season 8, but just seeing Celestia of all ponies get pumped up about sports is just honestly funny. So, that was 246 Great. This was an episode I rather enjoyed. I mean, we got to take a deeper exploration into Rainbow's narrow mind, far more than Read It and Weep did, considering this episode also explored the consequences of how someone's narrow mind can negatively affect those around them. And no, I am not saying this episode was equally as good or better than Read It and Weep, so don't start cursing me out in the comments just yet. 246 Great did a good job showing its audience just how someone's excitement can be slowly whittled down to nothing if someone else, especially a trusted friend, throws out an air of not caring or lack of support back in their face with how Rainbow made the entire cheer squad quit because of her selfish thinking. Not only that, the episode also reinforces that you're under no obligation to share the same views or enjoyment of something with your friends, but just remember that attitude means a lot and they still need your support. However, the development we got for Smolder, Yona, and Ocellus with how they were using Cheer Squad to either broaden their school activities, improve themselves socially beyond just being able to change form, or just because they enjoy anything that falls under Rainbow's tutelage was great. Heck, even Snips was shown to be pursuing a more entrepreneurial goal with Cheer Squad, so now he's gotten development past being a one-dimensional moron. While this isn't my favorite Rainbow episode, and certainly not my favorite Season 9 episode, 246 Great hit all the right marks for me to be a Green Flag episode. But now, I'm curious, what did you guys think of the episode? Please let me know down in the comments below and thanks for watching. I'm Mr. Left Turn, I'll see you when I get back from the track.